everybody, and welcome to another edition of 4.0 and Below, where we love our creases to absolute pieces. And today, before we get to the comics, uh, so as I've said before in a couple other videos, I'm currently going through the old collection and getting them all entered into a database to find out what I have. And it's been a lot of fun because there's a lot of stuff in there. It's like, where did this come from? I don't remember buying this at all. And also uh, going through and rebagging a lot of stuff, too, that was in desperate need of it. Um, and I thought I'd show off some boards uh, that I uncovered and unearthed. As you can see on that one, there's a really bad acid burn going along the top there. But that's nothing here. Let's let's look at these real fast. Hang on. Give me a second. Oh, let go. Get it out of my makeshift tripod here. And uh, back up a little bit. And... Uh, Look at this one here. As you can see, it's very, very brown. And this one is even a little bit worse. Let's see, let's see if we can get out of the glare. There we go. Look at that. There's a little bit of an advertisement in there. You can barely make it out. Okay, what does that say? Can't quite make it out. And this was an ad for Three Musketeers. Let me get the impression there. Yeah, it doesn't go close. Yeah, Three Musketeers. And here is an old one <laughs> for. Batman Forever. <laughs> oh, that light's terrible. Let's just go back down here. Here we go. Now we got the temperature. This is really bad, too. This seems to be multiple <laughs> different advertisements. This appears to be some kind of video terrorist something. Oh my lord, look at that. Some kind of video game because there's Toonami. Or Konami, excuse me. Look at that acid burn. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So so that's been fun. Woo! Everybody getting seasick yet? Sorry, let's get this back to the thing. Oh, okay. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. Centered. Eh, close enough. So anyway, that's been a lot of fun, but let's get to the comics. And today we're going to focus on fantasy masterpieces. Now, when I was growing up, um, even back then, the original Silver Surfer comics from 68 were <laughs> way too expensive. And, uh, and if I couldn't afford them then, I sure as hell can't afford them now. So uh, this is before the internet. And so if you wanted to read them, you kind of had to go with Plan B. And uh, in 79, Marvel was gracious enough to reprint uh, most of the run in uh, a series fantasy manager pieces, starting with number one, which corresponds with the old series. So number one is a reprint of Silver Surfer, number one. And also number two. And uh, I remember, I think I got these, I pilfered most of these when uh, when one of my favorite local comic shops uh, called it a day and closed down. Mishimonk, reopen your store. Uh, number three, which is the uh, reprints the first appearance of Mephisto. And number four. Of course, these were written by Stan Lee with art by Big John Buscema. And... Uh, even these reprints, if you get into the higher grades, they're still going to... I mean, they're not terrible. Probably run, you know, between 20 and 30. But, you know, the lower grades, you can probably get them, you know, anywhere from 5 to 10. Especially as you get deeper into the series. And with number 5. Find the master. Okay. Going on to number 6. As the old Joe goes, um, 
what was that uh, movie? Uh, Crimson Tide. Who drew the better Silver Surfer, uh, Kirby or Mobius? And it's like it's a fallacy because you gotta get Buscema in on the que- or on that uh, in that equation when asking that question. As far as I'm concerned, so there's number seven and number eight, and I believe it was in number eight where it started having a uh, backup feature and started reprinting some old uh, Adam Warlock stories. Uh, I think from his days in Strange Tales, uh, Starlin, of course. Let's see. Fancy bat. Oops. Number nine. And number ten. Oops. I said yeah. Let's see. Adam Warlock backup feature. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. The dawn of the doomsday. And number 14, Silver Surfer versus Spider-Man. Unfortunately, that's where the series ended, so uh, about four issues short of the full run because uh, they pulled the plug on it. But um, So yeah, we'll take those. So yeah, if you're uh, short on funds and you're looking for your Silver Surfer books, uh, you know this is, I think, a passable substitute. And also today... We got a package of new comics in the mail. It's also got, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a hell of a ding on it. And uh, we're, we're th- we were going to save this for our next uh, haul run, but I think we're just going to go ahead and pop it open and see if anything got irrevocably damaged. So uh, stay tuned here for a couple minutes, and we'll be right back to... Also happy to report that the uh, comics and sconce in that box were all undamaged. Thank you, MyComicShop.com, and thank you, United States Postal Service. Anyway, uh, just quick back of a uh, quick batch of Avengers comics here as we continue to try to uh, meet our 2019 uh, year goals of uh, completing my uh, or not completing, but getting uh, the Avengers done from 100. To the end of the first volume, uh, we picked up, I think I remember a while back said I didn't have any, there weren't any keys, so it shouldn't be too bad. Well, I lied. Uh, there's a few in there, uh, starting with 112 there, which is the first appearance of Mantis, which uh, wasn't necessarily cheap, but wasn't too bad. And then also uh, issue 125, which uh, includes the dust stuff with Thanos. Of course, that's going all going through the roof right now. Um, what else we got here? Also, these are all these are replacements. This next batch, of course, this was another key. This is the first appearance of the Hellcat. This is uh, about the time I started reading the Avengers regularly back in the day. And like I said, when I was a kid, I read these until the covers fall off. Fell off. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow, don't swallow bugs, kids. They're bad for you. Um, yeah, and again, I read until the covers fell off. I make no apologies for that. Because that's what you're supposed to do is read them. So, so that's a replacement. Uh, 147. It's also a replacement. Love that story. They go to Counter Earth and fight the Squadron Supreme. The Serpent Crown rocks out. Oh, oh my God, it's amazing. And uh, 149. Thor versus Orca, the human whale. And then uh, lastly, this is a new one. Uh, new uh, Needed this one. 
152. Beautiful Kirby cover there, man. Uh, interior arts, George Perez. Oh, my God. Awesome. This is, like, my favorite era of the Avengers right here. From about, yeah, from about 144 to, you know, 200-ish. Good stuff. Favorites. So, that'll do it for this episode of 4.0 and below. Stay tuned. We got a ginormous comic haul coming up here pretty quick as uh, we wrap up our uh, April buys. Now that it's the middle of May, because, you know, <laughs> that's how I roll. So, until next time, this is WB Kelso for 4.0 and below, reminding you to never, ever be embarrassed about what you could work comic-wise. And until next time, we'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. Mm -hmm.